cry like seven times a day watching the Olympics. summer book and we are almost at the end of July right now so I'm trying to do some research and just kind of drive around the area and figure out what kind of setting and where I want this book to take place and so I'm here with my mom as my chauffeur today there's a lot of different islands that go into the lake the lake is not just a circle it's very convoluted so there's a lot of different like nooks and crannies basically so this is one of these obscure little tiny official beaches but it's like pretty much just a dock. I'm just trying to figure out any little location that I can use. Like look, there's just a free dock right here. So these are like public docks for people to come in if they want to go to the restaurant. This is so funny because it's just me rushing around and taking pictures and videos of things while it's like about to storm. I'm just in my neighborhood today because I wanted to try doing a little bit of a faster pace, but only for one mile. So I've been doing three miles the last couple of times, longer distances, and I just want to test my speed. I guess I'm not gonna be sprinting or anything. I could still a whole mile. I just wanted to see the kind of mile pace I could do if I'm only running a mile. So that's why I'm just in my neighborhood because I, I don't need to go down to the trail if I'm only running a mile. Yesterday I did do a lot of research into the apartments that I looked up the other day when my mom and I went looking at different apartments. I looked through all of them and living is a lot of money. <laughs> I want to live there so I'll figure it out. But I did actually look through all the options and make a big document with all the different details and how much the different rooms were and all the different kind of stuff. So I'm getting closer. I managed to do under 10 minutes. I actually saw, I looked at my the Strava app when I had 0.05 left. My mile split was at like 10.02. So I like sprinted the last little bit and my mile time ended up being 9.55, which is very exciting. I haven't like actually purposely run a mile in a long time, like trying to be fast about it. That was good. I'm sweating buckets because it's so humid outside. And I'm gonna go jump in the pool real quick because I'm, I'm so so sweaty. I am watching the Olympics, obviously, as like everybody else is doing. The Olympics are my favorite, favorite thing on TV ever. I very distinctly remember the first time I was actively watching the Olympics was 2008. I was nine years old. It was when Michael Phelps was going for eight golds and I've been a swimmer and a diver my whole life. So I was like so, so invested and I was like sitting on the floor in front of my TV at nine years old, like so nervous for Michael Phelps. <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. I was nine. I was nine and so invested. Anyway, every time there's an Olympics, summer or winter, I am spending like every single hour watching the Olympics. I'm making sure that I watch everything I can. I watch all the main things like soccer and gymnastics and swimming and, and diving, but also like rowing and archery and rugby and I don't even know, table tennis, surfing. That's a really exciting one that I do like. I just try to watch all the sports because this is the only time you ever really get to see a lot of these sports, which is really cool. Very much big fan of the Olympics. This is the first Olympics that we haven't had some way to record them, but it's also the first one where we have Peacock this year, which is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. It has literally every single sport. There's the gold zone where it has like a bunch of different screens for all the sports that are going on at one time. This is my literal favorite time of the year. And not just like of the year, but like every four years. Like this is my favorite time. I will be glued to the TV for the next two weeks. This is also my peak patriotism moment that I have every four years. Peak USA and then, and then it sharply declines before and afterwards. But 
for these two weeks. Big fan of the U.S. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me. Absolutely sobbing. At the, like after the U.S. men's gymnastics team got their medals and they got third place. I was seeing the footage of them like going out to hug their families and everything and. Gosh, I cry like seven times a day watching the Olympics. <laughs> so here I am sitting at my piano. Um, I haven't touched a piano in like almost a year, which is really shocking. I started playing piano when I was five. I have a minor in music in college. And so I took piano lessons all the way through high school and then through college as well. So I play piano every single day, but not in the last year. And honestly, probably just a mental health. Thing. I like to play piano when I'm happy and feeling good and at this point it's I'm just tired of not playing piano. I miss it. The other scary thing is that the longer it's been since I've played, I know that all of my music that I'm normally really good at and comes easy to me will be harder the longer I wait. And so then the longer I've waited, the scarier it is to play again because I know that the first time I play through any of these things, it's gonna not sound great. I'm doing it, I think. This is my folder of my music that I play the most often. I have a handful of like Debussy books and arpeggio workbooks and stuff like that, but this is the like fun stuff that I really like to play. There's a real mix of like classical and also popular songs. I have no idea how this is gonna go. The amount of arm and hand strength that you need to play piano regularly, I have definitely lost some of that because I played one song just now and my arms are already hurting a little bit. So <laughs> I used to play piano for hours. This is gonna be an issue. dive coach high school dive coach the season is going to start in like two weeks and i actually need to get approved to drive a van for the girls because sometimes we practice at a different pool and i need to be able to transport them and if i do it myself then i get paid for it i am going to go basically apply for that i'm already approved but i need to like do the paperwork and stuff so that's a very specific random one, but that is the first thing we're doing today. This is like not a regular building. <laughs> this is where all the transportation stuff is and it's very much under construction and not a regular school building. Okay, I hope I'm in the right place. Um, <laughs> so this is my massive, look at this. This is literally 60 pages of application papers that I need to fill out. Um, now obviously I'm requested to drive high schoolers around, so that's a lot of paperwork for different things. However, that was like way more than I thought it was going to be. I also need to get like several doctor's approval. Practice starts in like less than two weeks. This is all- I like genuinely have a lot to do for this now. Woo! Okay. For the record, I am getting trained also on a short bus. Like, not just a van, but a short bus. So, <laughs> which I didn't really realize was the case. So, when you see me driving a short bus, <laughs> wow, what a wild turn of events. I did not expect this to be how my morning was going already. We're only one appointment in. I have three more. All right, here I am, filling out, don't look. 
but filling out paperwork, watching the Olympics while I wait for my next appointment. That one's more exciting. Okay, so my next appointment after being home for literally 20 minutes, I've been filling out the forms and I'm on page two. Page two for 20 minutes. So that's gonna take a long time. But right now, I'm on my way to get a haircut. I have not had a haircut since January where they royally butchered it and then I had to go find different people to go fix it. So I'm just going to the second people now because I trust them way more. I have my brother's wedding in like two weeks. I had a different brother get married in June and now I have another brother getting married in August. <laughs> so I'm getting a haircut. This is what we have before. Very normal for me, but kind of grown out. We'll check back in. Hello. All right, here we go. It's obviously still damp because um, curly hair. She was like, do you want me to blow dry? And I was like, no, <laughs> it needs to air dry. Otherwise it simply won't look how it's supposed to. I have some more front pieces, a little bit sort of curtain bangies, very layered, obviously. I like it. I think it's really good. I think she did a good job. Very lucky turn of events. I have called the doctor that I need to get the test done, basically to officially be a driver, and they're open tomorrow, like I have an opening tomorrow, so I'm going in then to do that, and I'm going to spend literally the rest of the day filling out these paperwork, and hopefully I can go back maybe even tomorrow, because I kind of have a very limited timeline. I have less than two weeks until the season starts, and I need to be driving on like day one of the season. And I'm also trying to go on a little trip, surprise, surprise, next week, right before the season starts, because it's the last time I have time to do an extended trip until like Thanksgiving when the season's done. So hopefully, hopefully I can get all this done in the next like five days. That's the goal. Way to the third appointment. This one is at the other high school that I'm coaching at. So I'm helping out their divers because they don't have a dive coach so we're kind of somewhat coaching here and somewhat coaching there so I'm going to their pool to get a tour from their coach just the pool the facility what I can use etc I'm currently watching Katie Ledecky in the 1500 and I am doing some reading for my bus driving thing it's not focusing but you know it's there and I'm just sitting here and I don't know if you can hear it but it's like like pouring and storming. Very loud thunder. I do like a good thunderstorm. Like, it's a little, <laughs> a little rainy. So the next thing I'm doing today is I'm actually getting dinner with my college roommate, one of them. So she was my roommate for my junior and senior years of college. I haven't seen her since maybe November-ish. So we're gonna go have dinner. Hello. Hi. Wow, what a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you don't usually wear them? <laughs> you. <laughs> so nice. Okay, I'm back in the car. I realize that there's a lot of car time in this video, but I just am going to a lot of things, apparently. I feel like I didn't really update you very well on the last like 12 hours. So I did in fact go have dinner with my roommate Peyton. Super fun, we talked for like two and a half hours. It was great. She has some exciting things coming up in her life. So that's very exciting. I didn't take any video just because it just didn't feel appropriate. I don't know, she's also more of a private person. So I didn't want to presume I could just stick my camera. My best friend, Danelle, came over. It's the first time I've seen her since she's moved back. We hung out, she slept over for the night, which is super fun. We watched some more Olympics. The road's probably really bumpy, so just ignore that. And then she had uh, an appointment this morning, and then she came back and we were both like working on stuff, applying for things. I was working on YouTube things. And now I am going to my doctor's appointment to get approval, basically, to be a driver for my high school team. So that's the plan. <laughs> Hello. Well, 
well, that was pretty easy, honestly. I had to do a drug test, which I was not, I knew I was doing, but I didn't really comprehend like, oh, I have to leave my stuff outside. I can't wash my hands. I can't flush the toilet, like any of that. I did accidentally flush the toilet, but it's fine. And then just a very basic level physical, just like testing my eyes, my lungs, my blood pressure, all that kind of stuff. And I have my little, you can't see it, but there's like stuff on this side. That's my official, I'm allowed to drive because I have the medical certificate for it now. Very exciting. That was very, very easy. The guy was very nice. Okay, so this is kind of very exciting, but last week I interviewed like a first round audio interview for a job in the publishing industry. It's with a publishing company. They do more medical kind of publishing stuff, but still in the publishing industry, which is super exciting. The Olympics are in the background, so today I just got an email saying that uh, they would like to have the next round of interview with me, like a video, more formal, actual interview, in like a week and a half. So that's very exciting. That's honestly like the furthest I've gotten with many of my job applications. So I'm just really, really excited about that. <laughs> took my little driver's test basically to prove that I can drive a van and I put in all my paperwork they have my medical things forms that they needed and yeah basically I'm all set to go I can get paid to drive my athletes around it's very exciting a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be also if you think I'll be doing anything besides watching the Olympics and editing today you are wrong that's all I'll be doing Wins the goal. They're showing the best moments of yesterday. I literally have goosebumps right now. <laughs> I literally have goosebumps on my whole body and I'm like crying. This happens every day. This happens every day when I watch the Olympics. Oh. Ho, ho. So I did in fact decide to make cheesy bread for breakfast. It's basically just cheese and bread and butter, which is basically European breakfast, you know, open face sandwiches. It's just melted. That's fine. It actually is so good. That was such a good choice. We just went to a bag day sale, which if you two miles, turn right to merge. Basically, they're usually at churches and anything you can fit in a grocery bag for five dollars. We go to many of them. A lot of my clothes are from bag day sales just because there's a lot of options. It's cheap, but uh, this is our damage. <laughs> Here we have four bags, and they actually were also doing garbage bags. So each one of these was fifteen dollars, and those were five. So that's our that's our damage for today. We have a little bit of an exciting day today. Also, as you can see, I have like actually washed and done my hair now for the first time since I got a haircut. And as you can see from the front pieces, it's still figuring itself out. This is a little too like swoopy for my liking. I'm sure it'll figure itself out today. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit more book research around the lake. I'm meeting my best friend, Danelle. We are going to go eat and do some exploring around like that part of the lake. And then tonight, a very, very exciting party for one of my college roommates, a different college roommate, actually my first college roommate. That's all I'm gonna say right now because honestly, <laughs> the details are so up in the air. I'm so, so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, Danelle. Am I in this? Yes, you're in this. Aww. We are at Maynard's, which is a very well-known place around the area. I'm here literally for research, because I want to include this in my book potentially. And it's on the lake. You can pull your boat up and dock and then come and eat. But I got a crispy chicken sandwich and fries. It's so good. It is so packed here. Like, it is full. It is noon and it's full. We got ice cream at Adele's Frozen Custard, which I've never been to, but again, trying to like explore a little bit for book research. Now we're at beach and we are both stupid and didn't bring our swimsuits, so we're just gonna kinda wait a little bit, I think, because it's really warm.
had a super fun time with Danelle. It was so good to be able to hang out with her again regularly. Did a lot of Lake Minnetonka research for my book. Just kind of explored, which is very fun. But now, <laughs> I'm going to my college roommate Ashley's surprise party for her engagement, I think. Her boyfriend had texted like literally months ago making sure that I was available for this date to go to this surprise party. He actually don't think used the word engagement party, but he has a ring and like we all know what's happening, except as of this current moment, as I am driving to their house for said party, I have not heard anything about whether or not there's actually been engagement yet. They're on a trip this past week, and so I kind of thought it would be happening then, but so far no word. So maybe it's happening at this party. Maybe I'm about to witness a, an engagement. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna be so honest, I do not know, but I'm excited either way. I just don't know what's going on. Oh, don't worry, I, I will. <laughs> I was literally waiting all week. Oh my god. I got down on the knees. You always said you'd marry me with a paper ring. Aww. Very Taylor Swift. Oh my goodness. Aww. 